Hello. I'm just going to pop on here real quick. On my previous video, I talked about a particular fight between Corey Feldman and Corey Haim. Um, in this fight, I'm going to be showing you, you will see that Corey Haim brought up the abuse that he suffered in Hollywood first. And also, I'm going to give you some background information. The predator, or the person that Corey Haim is referring to in this next clip, is Dominic Bradshaw. Dominic Bradshaw is one of Corey, or was one of Corey Feldman's friends, who ironically he maintained and called a friend on an interview, interview which I will be providing a video of, saying that a friend went to the Inquirer with the Sheen information about saying Sheen was, Char uh, was Corey Haynes' abuser. Then later, after Dominic Bradshaw died, Corey says that the same person who went to the Inquirer was also one of Haynes' abusers. So in one interview, he referred to Dominic as a friend, just like Corey Haim had accused him of in this next video clip. I'm just sharing this with you, and keep your notification bells turned on, subscribe and like, and I will provide more information with the videos as my receipts, because I'm not going to say one bad word about Feldman. I'm just going to let him do the talking. So, let's proceed with this next video, and... After the end, tell me what you think, and I will pro provide proof of this friendship, or at least in Corey Feldman's words, saying that this person was his friend. I can destroy you right now, and you know it. Corey, I'm saying right I don't, here. I don't need to Go do ahead. that. I don't have to do Corey, that. Corey, I'd love to see you even attempt to do something like that. Are you f kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding you right You're now? An easy target, bro. I'm right here. Let's do this. I'm right here. Hit me with the hardest bull you got. Now, why would I want to try and hurt you? Corey, you opening up to the world about me having a knife in my pocket, and the reason I wear this, man, is like to cover up some scars I have, because like I used to cut into myself, because it's a way to feel, I hear. And like mentioning that, you just ripped the envelope, man. I'll go you one better. You let me get around in my life, man, raped, so to speak. When I was about 14 and a half, and I'm saying this right now, by the guy you still f***ing hang out with, and tell me I'm 14 and a half, hey, take responsibility. Talking. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What'd you do, man, when you saw that going down when I was 14 to me? What'd you do? You knew about it, besides being his best friend. What'd you do? What'd you do? Tell us what you did, man. I believe Blinds I was... Blinds of cocaine with me. You, God you, bless you. You, you, you want to talk about the truth? Okay, well, then let's talk about the truth. I was being molested at the same time by somebody else. What'd you do? What'd you do? Talk to you about it. You talked to me about yeah, it? Yeah, sure. You told me while I was sleeping, this happened, this happened. I'm like, right. you weren't sleeping? Yeah, I was sleeping. Try to talk to you about it. Yeah. Sure. Were you sleeping? I was awake, Corey. I was okay. very aware of what was going on with me. <sighs> Sorry, we might take this to go. Okay. Mom. Would be the probably smartest thing to do. You know what? Cool. You want to put all that on man, the table? You want to just that? put you in the ground, kid? Yeah, okay. Really, it's not okay. good. Me around you is detrimental for my health, man. You're really, 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 really up in your head, kid. And I really don't want to be a friend anymore. I can't. I can't. It's not that I don't want to be. I can't. Well, that's where it's at. I can't. 